voice diary on doing something. Safety about in, in doing water sports. Yesterday, mm -hmm. swimming team came to do water sports at Manipal. And then after having snack and uh, drinking black first, and then we uh, talk about uh, safety rule about the weather, current, tide, and also about the teamwork, something. And then we are, I check out the weather uh, condition about the, when the doing about uh, the wind, if the next day or night time and then wind comes and then to be aware about uh, earlier the wind comes from so and then uh, knowing about the situation is very important and then we paddle to the island and then um, before island uh, we went to the <clears throat> The, under the bridge and um, team members uh, swimming and snorkeling up there. Uh, and then two of them, and then untie leash. I told them uh, not to untie leash. If um, they uh, should, uh, they uh, have to enjoy and uh, snorkeling or swimming. And then they can tie with the, their team and uh, swimming for safely. And then because uh, when wind blows up and the boat is floating away, so and then even the good swimmer cannot catch the boat, it might be a dangerous situation. And then, so uh, knowing about the safety is also important. On the rocks, there are some anglers um, who are fishing. So and they are uh, approaching and going to the fishing area. And then, um, but uh, knowing about that in the calm situation and the, do not interrupt each other is very good manners in doing water sports. Um, so, and then after a little bit um, playing around the bridge, and then we are paddling to the island and down. The, and we turn around the, the right house, white light house. And after then, and, and they also were swimming and even untie again. So and I told the club member and then not to untie. Mm -hmm. uh, not to untie. And then this because uh, it's, it might be dangerous. And also the shoreline, they are um, not aware about that uh, place. And then one of the member and they hit the head uh, in the rock and maybe oyster shell and then got the bleeding. So, and then um, the breathing, in, so it makes the breathing. I told you, uh, um, was swimming cap, I mean, green swimming cap, if you, uh, put on swimming cap and had it, and we paddled to the back, back, and then at the moment, and it's a wind a little bit stronger. And when we are uh, went back and to the bridge side and went around, the one club member uh, not good at paddling, not good at uh, turning, so and then. She struggled with going forward. Again and again, she turned around back. And then um, she um, had to go uh, to the shoreline. But in the end, um, she came to the shoreline. And 
I told the uh, other club member to come to the shoreline because uh, there might be sudden wind. It might be sudden wind comes and then uh, it might be dangerous about the uh, situation. So, and then, <clears throat> Um, they are um, better inside, and then uh, luckily it's, uh, there is no sudden wind. And after uh, doing some activity, they uh, enjoy. They uh, uh, came back, <coughs> and uh, their um, teamwork it's, uh, should be. Um, raised up and then tension of the uh, as a team and then as a member and organizing some trip and then this is a very important part uh, not just playing is on the shoreline it might be okay but uh, paddling more than uh, Paddling more than 500 meters, and you know, then I should know about that is a lot of enjoy and a lot of the tour it, it, when it's a windy or strong current. Uh, it could be uh, well aware about their movement from A to B, and then uh, knowing about that is very important. And mm -hmm. Still, we have uh, two or three more classes, uh, and then better the water activities, and doing by doing that, they can be uh, some good uh, activity in doing water sports, uh, knowing about some thing. So, and um, we uh, should know about that. And many things too when when we are doing water sports, uh, uh, even kayaking tour or a CUP tour. And in terms of the wind, when wind is strong, checking out the water condition, knowing about the water condition, and uh, knowing about the spots also a very important part when we are doing water sports for the safety issue, and then. That is uh, basic. Uh, if we are uh, we ignore about that kind of important things, it might be get dangerous and uh, dangerous situation. So and then and the uh, accident comes. So now I uh, talk about the safety about wind and maybe one or two more session I should do for the safety. <clears throat>
Who is direct? Water safety about wind and doing water sports. Uh, yesterday, the swimming team came to the water sports uh, at Malipo. After having snack and drinking the black coffee, we discussed the safety rule concerning weather condition, following timing, and demo. We checked the weather condition, focusing on the wind pattern for the next day and night, and it is crucial to be aware of wind direction and situation. We then moved to the island where the team members went down under the bridge to snorkel at 12 10 pm. I emphasized the importance uh, of trying, trying their equipment to securely to avoid it being blown away, which could lead to dangerous situations. Safety is also crucial near rafts where anglers are fishing. It's important not to interrupt each other to maintain the manners while doing other sports. After some time playing around the bridge, we paddled to the island and turned around the bright white lighthouse. Throughout the activity, I reminded the team members to tie their equipment to security to avoid danger. Unfortunately, one member hit their head on a rock and, and started bleeding. We quickly uh, attended to the injury um, to put on a swimming pad and and then paddled back. The wind had a bit, uh, up a bit stronger as we head back, making it challenging for some members. One club member, Tony, struggled so with Tony, struggled with paddling against the wind. She kept uh, turning around and found it uh, harder to reach the shoreline. Luckily, uh, we managed to guide her safely and there were no problems. After completing our activity, the team enjoyed the day. Teamwork and attention are crucial when uh, organizing trips. Paddling more than 500 meters requires knowledge and aware of the wind and current. We still have two uh, or three more classes and to improve the water activity skills and understanding the safety measures, wind condition, and water spots is essential in water sports to avoid the extent. I am committed to ensuring safety during our water sport activity. We will continue to hold the session to improve our knowledge and skills. And water discussion. Mm, safety in water sport, focusing on the wind condition. Yesterday, the swimming team visited the Malipo for water sport after snack and coffee. We reviewed safety rules, including weather condition and teamwork. Checking the wind patterns for the following days uh, was essential on the island. Team members snorkeled on the bridge at 12 10 p.m. I stress the importance of securely tying equipment to avoid it being blown away, which could lead to dangerous situation. We ensured not to disturb angler while near the raft. After playing around the bridge, we paddled to the island and the back island, and the back to the lighthouse. One member hit their head on a lock and holding breathing, but uh, managed the injury quickly as the wind picked up on the return trip. 
The members struggle, but we guided them to be emphasizing to more and awareness of women and water condition and crucial for safety. We have two or three more classes to in, enhance our work activity skills and knowledge. And go to the veterans. Uh, ตัวที่ช่วยนั่นแหละหน่วยกัดกันเปลี่ยนจองโดยตาอลันด้วยพักเก่าเลยเมื่อมีหายเมื่อมีชื่อตัวนั้นมันตั้งความจงคือเวก
tiết bị à, chúng tôi đã tâm bảo không làm việc như cầu ca hằng và sau khi trôi quan tàu chúng tôi kêu xuyên đèn tàu và có lại nó hài đồng một tâm biển vì đáp tàu vào đã ba trái màu nhưng chúng tôi đã xử lý nhanh chung khi dù mang lên à, trên dòng cho về một số tàn biển cấp hồ cán nhưng chúng tôi đã hứng chẳng an toàn tin tăng đón đổi và ngăn sức để trừ tiền chiếu và nước chất quan trọng chúng tôi bằng con phải hỏi bôi thuốc để nắng cao khi nào Living about feedback. So when I recognize about the pronunciation method, it's like a voice diary. Now I'm a little bit, uh, I familiar with the V sound. Every time I pronounce it as a V, and then the V sound is like a race or victory. Similar like the R sound is like the, when we say and pronounce it is R is uh, quite difficult is uh, R is matter so and then write the R is matter is reviewing is about that one thing is pronunciation matter is the same we know about that but uh, we uh we don't get used to pronounce it. Uh, correctly or properly. So, and then one thing is to do that and then aware about that kind of pronunciation, which is when we pronounce naturally, we are, cannot reach the sound. It's like the V and then voice and R, review and uh, something. And then uh, that kind of pronounce is many things like a photograph and then so like the uh, uh, four and one thing is uh, like um, FNP or um, about that uh, B and V and L and R that's combination about the sound with the two track uh, in terms of the in Korean pronunciation we don't have the two track but uh, many of the pronunciation like the other language have a similarity is very very close about the sound when make their pronounce and they make word in terms of accent intonation also it might be the same situation so i'm familiar with that is uh, no stressful and then we can get familiar with that uh, listening is a key word when we pronounce but Actually, it's not a big deal about uh, pronouncing one or two or words uh, and miss or not clear. But I should know about uh, when we say about uh, one clear and also uh, oh, should be aware about when we speak that pronounces um, some words and then how they listen to uh, my story, our stories, our speaking. That is also very important point part, and then knowing about that. So, and then trying to mimicking, following their pronunciation is a keyword to improve pronunciation. The listening skill is very important. Now, getting back to the review, uh, getting back to the review, and then um, so. Uh, uh, I got a feedback from AI about water safety and then about the wind and organizing or activity. And, and so as a guide, it's uh, important. But and as a team builder, and I'm uh, also a team builder when they are doing, because uh, uh, they are doing in here and then they doing their, they should follow up and um, their safety rules and uh, knowing about them. If they enjoy any aware or know about the situation, 
that will be very, very dangerous. So, and uh, I should make a program and, and, and better, better than before. And then also knowing about that uh, process uh, about this um, water sports and uh, doing something well. Um, um, okay, so this is my review. Also in uh, Vietnamese, uh, I started, uh, yesterday I started about after uh, voice diary in English, I tried to do uh, voice diary in Vietnamese uh, about the topic, easy topic, because uh, easy topic makes uh, me speak uh, comfortably in the um, with some easy words and with simple sentences. So and then the first topic is about uh, two hours traveling because uh, I've been in Vietnam. I have uh, many uh, some experience. I have some experience uh, about that, and then uh, I know. Uh, so and then I try to topic about uh, tour traveling. And then after that, maybe I can get another topic. So, and then making topic about something, and then even the, I can um, make some sub subtopics, uh, sub topic about the main topic. That is also a good way to expand the topic to do speak. Um, okay, today are uh, review. Uh, this is uh, uh, about voice dialing. When I reflect on the pronunciation matter of the stuff in my voice diary, I realize I'm getting more familiar with the producing clear sound. Each time I pronounce a word, it feels like a victory, particularly with the R sound, and uh, which can be challenging with the R sound in the first place. And mastering it requires a constant practice. One issue is that even though we understand them, how to pronounce it, we often don't execute it correctly. This is a common struggle in learning pronunciation, natural pronunciation can be elusive. But with the practice, it becomes more intuitive. In my feedback, I've noticed that certain pronunciation 
by photographer can be tricky and there are also challenges with the sound like F and V, V and P and then L and R. These sounds can be particularly difficult for Korean speakers because they don't exist in the Korean language in the same way. However, with the exposure and practice, it becomes easier to mimic and internalize this sound. It's important not to stress too much about perfect pronunciation. Listening for keywords and practicing them can help make the sound more familiar, even if the pronunciation is slightly off. The main goal is to be understood and practicing it clear and being aware of how other perceive our pronunciation is essential. Mimicking it is quicker and using pronunciation tools can greatly aid in the process. In my recent feedback from AI about water sports safety and organizing and activity planning, I realized the importance of ensuring everyone is aware of the safety rules. It's crucial for participants to understand and follow safety guidelines to prevent dangerous situations. Additionally, I've been uh, working on improving my Vietnamese after writing my voice diary in English. I started practicing simple sentences in Vietnamese on easy topics. This method helped me become more comfortable speaking the languages over time. I plan to tackle more complex topics and improve my fluency, making progressing a new language involves a consistent practice and expanding my vocabulary through various topics. Um, no Jun. จึงจึงสุดละลายปัญหาที่ตัวสุนีเบคุณภาพปัจจัมอ่าดอกเต้าเลยจงนักที่จงน้อยกว่าหนึ่งตัวนั้นละล้างหนึ่งอ่าดัง
ตั้งเบาหมอนน้อยคือแต่คุยทักอันทวนอยู่กันเที่ยวละน้อยตั้งจ่าไปหิวบ้านนอนอยู่ทักของยันอันทวนอ่าเด็กทักทักทิ้ง